Nikki asks, I began using OneNote for my journal. Among other things, I pasted text from a Word document. A text box did get copied, but looks like an effort to engrave a book on a postage stamp. Yep. Highlights that were added with a surface pen in the Word document appeared when pasted over, but not where they're supposed to be. Am I asking too much of OneNote? Unless it were added with a surface pen, the word appeared when pasted. Yeah, it, it's it, it all depends to me on how did you go about pasting. Yes, there are five or six different methods of pasting. You can keep source formatting. It sounds like in her case, she may have merged the formatting. There's about four different ways of doing that. Uh, so it did it just no way of telling without her explaining what way she went about that. That's my first thought, too, is that because it being a, a Microsoft product and they're integrated, you should be able to grab everything from Word and paste it as is in OneNote. That should be possible. I've done that with thing? highlights and underlines with multiple colored fonts. All of that should translate with the correct paste. Yeah. The other thing is she's talking about the Surface Pen, the Word document and it appeared when pasted over. So is she talking about it going into Word? Highlights when added with a surface pen in the Word document appeared when pasted over. So it's kind of like coming over. And look, information inside Word as well, is it inside a container? A lot of times people put things into Word and then have actually, like they might be might doing- Might be another an layer, chart. like a layer yeah, over it. Yeah, right. yeah. so they do an org chart kind of thing, but then they, they do drawing or they'll put an org chart or create whatever, but they haven't put it inside a container in Word. So therefore it shifts and moves around. So when you go to copy and paste it over into OneNote, um, you might be better to break it down and go, okay, well, um, pull in certain components and where do you want them and not do one just big copy and paste, number mm. one, do you know, and sort of then say where yeah. you want it in the document. If you're because your word and the way that it's structured is different than OneNote. To know OneNote is about a continuous page. So the copy and paste, when you're bringing it over, you've got two different style of document when you're looking at the XLS X you know, and, and the building of it as you start to bring it over. Um, I mean, the alternative is you can, depending on what you're trying to do, you could print to OneNote instead. So there is that, you know, print it in. Yeah. But I mean, it is going to be a, a picture. A lot of the times when you print it in, is it the text that you want out of it? Right click, copy the text out of the picture and drop it into OneNote. There's that way to be able to go. Um, I think just break down a little on your copy and paste. Try not to do like a massive document. And it's like, well, why? Why are you yeah. copying yeah. a massive document over into to OneNote? What is the reason for it? You know? Well, because she started using OneNote for the journal, which is the better place for doing the journal anyway. It is anyway. for journaling. Yeah, yeah. For everything yeah. else, that, that if she's using the stylus and she's doing other things and scribbling other notes, typing some things in there, converting script into, into text, um, capturing other image and things. I mean, all of the things that you want to do and keeping that historical you know view of, of content it's searchable i mean word is meant to be like standalone documents so if you have a mm -hmm. running word doc, word doc this is getting more and more pages versus OneNote, which is that's what it's for i have i have notes in my one note that are more than a decade old oh um, yeah it's still a searchable and can go back and access and all that history is there and it's in the cloud and it's it's OneNote's one of my favorite tools. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, but so the fact it, that they've, uh, Nikki stated um, the fact that it, with copy, it looks like an effort to engrave a book on a postage stamp, which to me means that the word journal that she's been using in the past is particularly big. Like it's a big, it must be big for that to that kind of come in. Hmm. Um, you know, you often will get it where you've brought information in from elsewhere and it is small on the page, but it's inside a box and you can just drag it out. So is it is it a picture that's dropped in? So therefore it's small, you can just extend out. Is that kind of the issue? You, it's like if it's a counter book on a postage stamp, you kind of go, well, it's limited down. Is it just because of the page is also zoomed in? Because there's so much content, it just does a zoom in for you so you can see it. And do you need to zoom back out again? 
because you can zoom in and out on the page. So you kind of go, well, it's hard because if you're not seeing it, you're not quite sure what actions are being taken. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, I, it, again, it, in depending on how you paste that over, if you're grabbing, if you're selecting all on a Word doc on a page and it includes text box within it, then it'll try to yeah. recreate create that. It may, you may have had no formatting on it, no line around it, and now it's a line is appearing over that object or around that yeah. object. I mean, there's a lot of things that could change around that. So, um, yeah. yeah, it just depends on what you're doing. And I mean, the... Yeah, so it's not clean. There's no clean way to move it from Word over to uh, to to OneNote if you've done a lot of formatting in that. But yeah. you're in the right place now for ongoing. Yeah. I mean, if you can get 80, 90 percent of the formatting over there, then that's a I would call that a win. Um, yeah. And you're the right place, and you're safe to make those changes and going forward. The other nice thing about that is that that again, the the print to OneNote is, a, is an option as well. Um, but uh, you have the opportunity to go through and read through your writings again and highlight all over again. <laughs> the opportunity. Well, I mean, I also yeah, say, so. do you need to bring it over? Can it just stay and then you start from here and now and yeah. move forward journaling in one note in the right place where you should be doing it now to keep right. it together like it's a book? Um, and do you need to bring all that content over? You know that it's, you know, you know that it's there. You could also do pages where you just insert a file printout. So it's kind of the word document that you've dropped in. It's another print then, option. So your print is an image. So then it yeah, will maintain yeah. all of the formatting yeah. that it sees. But yeah, then yeah. it's not it's as useful. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, it's a PDF. So if you do a file and you just drop it in as a file printout, then on your covering page in your book, you could then just do here's the link and create like a table of contents effectively. So you can just do a right click on anything and just get copy the link from the page sort of thing um, and then create a, create a bit of a table of contents, like bookmarking it on a front page to try and find where things are. Um, and that might help you out a little bit more. Yeah.